Well, you know, this fighter, as he makes the walk tonight, is going to be looking to lean on the speed and the footwork in this particular matchup. Got to keep the hands high, right? You got to stick and move and get the head off the center line, given the power that's coming back. But I'm just not sure that the opponent can match the quickness. Exceptionally fast on the feet. Very good at using angles to set up his offensive attacks and very sound defensively as well. So has the reach advantage, figures to be able to use it here tonight. This is one slick striker with which to contend. This guy has ridiculous hand speed. His opponent is going to need to keep his chin tucked and his hands up high. So here he is, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. A lot of different skills brought to the table by the Korean Superboy. Outstanding counters, very conditioned athlete. And I think he showed you in the Cub Swanson fight, a fight that didn't go his way, but that he can take a beating and keep on walking forward. This man has heart, he's got a chin, cardio for days. Do Ho Choi, a man many believe eventually will be belted by UFC President Dana White. This guy is amongst one of the most elusive fighters as far as his defense is concerned. Extremely difficult to hit. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Both fighters are 26. Choi is three inches taller. He will have a one inch reach advantage. And once again, here is the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. <laughs> This man is a kickboxer. Only a professional record of 11 wins, 6 losses, and 2 draws. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Osaka, Japan, Karuto Yashaba Ishihara! And now introducing his opponent, fighting! This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, 2 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting at a groovy South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. All right, I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. Here we go. First round, you ready? You ready? Let's well, go. it has become the UFC's home away from home of sorts. We are live and underway here at Juness Arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Nice job by Ishihara. He's got good accuracy on that jab. They're going after it quick here. He's mixing things up really well, too, from the hands to the kicks to switching stances. Oh, a nice straight there by Choi. Trying to kick the leg out. Choi's hook shot blocked, though, by the defense. Nice job getting that guard up to prevent any further damage. Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. May want to focus on some defense here moving forward. Just 
just out of range with the straight left hand. Punches block. And oh, the left leg goes high. Slips the punch nicely there. Oh, effective strike there by the Korean Super Bowl. There was a nice exchange. Just over three minutes to go. He hurt him with that hook. Check that kick. And he connects with the punch there. Just misses with the jab there. Ishihara gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Strike there by Choi. He cut yeah, the kick. A little oh, he's, on his feet. he's in big, big, big trouble. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Switching stances here. Back to the jab now. No good. Got tagged there. Good fight here, under two to go. How about that chin? Ishihara's kick attempt there blocked. Oh, nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Well, so he gets clipped once again here, Joe, and he continues to be vulnerable by leaning in. He's keeping his head on the center line. He's got to change things up a little bit here. Effective jab there by Ishihara. Oh, man, with that right leg kick. Oh, that was a big left hand he connected with. Big body, body shot. shot. Oh, he hurt him. He hurt him bad. He's got him hurt here. Oh! Nice leg kick. Oh, he lands a huge kick to the body, Joe. Jab there by the Korean Super Bowl. Just missed with that wow. right hand. Oh. This fight is dangerous. It's close to being stopped. Entertaining scraps so no, far. No, no, no. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. Thankfully for him, he will live to see another round. You saw him get knocked down near the end of the round. If there were 10 more seconds, that likely would have been the end of his night. Let's take a look at that again. And let's see that from another angle. Carly Baker in the building tonight. Thank you very much. Here we go, second round. You ready? You ready? Round two is underway. Now, starting off this round, you've got to think that the barrage that he endured in that last round is still affecting him. He's going to want to start this round off and move and avoid taking any damage. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Ishihara. 
Well, he's landed some excellent shots in this fight tonight, but more often than not, it has been one and done. So the emphasis now moving forward, combinations. Throw your punches in bunches and really try to force the issue and get your opponent out of there. Well, he listens. Oh! It's very wobbly. He's trying to hang on. Oh, he might be out. into his opponent's range. You gotta be careful when you throw. Oh! He's in big trouble. Oh! He's hurt. Big shot. Both guys landing with conviction now. Good defense there. Ishihara's lower jaw could not look much worse, Joe. Extremely swollen at this point in time. We'll keep an eye on it as this fight moves forward. Punch coming, it's blocked. Three minutes to go. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. He's a high one. That shot blocked by Choi. Wow. Ishihara's leg appears to be hurt here, Joe. That is an obvious limp. Tags him. Looping left hand misses the target. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Caught him with a punch. strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Let's take one more look at this overhand right on the money, and the fight is over as soon as it lands. Let's see that again. Boom. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. We send it in there now to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop in this contest at three minutes, 57 seconds of round number two. We play the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl. Choi is the name, ladies and gentlemen. A huge win 
for the Korean Superboy here tonight. And this is a kid who is just getting started. A scary proposition for the rest of this featherweight division. But we've already started to see major strides made when it comes to his skill development.